LG Multi V5 heat recovery system and it's in vacuum mode and I'm going to show you real quick how to get here so here's what it looks like on your service tool when you're in vacuum mode you see all your valves all your pipe modes on your HR boxes it's going to say wind and then if you look at all your valve positions it's going to be wide open okay let me close that out and look at the uh, indoor units you can see all of my EEVs wide open and uh, EEVs in the condenser uh, main EEVs sub EEVs SC EEV all your valves all valves is open all valves even my solenoids they're all active every valve is open okay so let me show you how to accomplish this this is for vacuum and recovery okay so here we go first we're going to select switch div switch number five flip it up like so screen shows function and we're going to move over to service There you go, service. And you're gonna press uh, enter. All right, so we're in service mode one. So we need service mode three. That's vacuum mode or, or refrigerator recovery mode. One, oh, skip it off with the button. Two. Sometimes the button's a little bit non-responsive, so you keep pressing it until it moves. Need three. Here we go. So sometimes when you hit it, schedule, hit it a few times for it to select as you could see. So we're in service mode three, that's refrigerant recovery or vacuum mode. We wanna press enter. a little bit stubborn yeah, this button So it's important to note the reason why it wasn't going into vacuum mode is simply because one of my IDU was calling for cooling. So you're going to make sure that you shut off all of your IDUs before you attempt to put it in vacuum mode. Otherwise, you'll be sitting there pressing that button forever. That's it. That's the video. Like, comment and subscribe.